Clearing coding rounds is very easy. In this video, I will tell you why. If you are someone who is applying for different jobs as a data engineer or any tech role, then there are high chances that you will receive your first interview round as a coding round. Now these coding rounds are designed by big tech companies as they receive thousands of applications they just want to filter out candidates but a lot of companies adopted this and now you apply to any company you will receive your first round as a coding round. So let's talk about clearing these coding rounds as a data engineer. There are two parts of it. First is solving a problem using a programming language by your choice. And second and one of the most important round is solving a SQL problem. So let's understand these rounds in detail, what you can expect and how to prepare for it. First is writing programming code. Now this is where the most of the people get confused. Listen to me carefully. Learning programming language and learning to solve these coding questions is different. Let me repeat this again. Learning programming language and learning to solve these coding questions is different because in the real world you will write a code to solve real world problems that are relatively easier. Also you can take help of Google, ChatGPT or Stack Overflow to solve your problems. But to pass coding questions you need to prepare it differently. Consider coding rounds as an entrance exam. You already know the basic mathematics and English but to clear this entrance exam you need to prepare it differently. You need to solve the problem that might come in those exams. Same thing is here. First you need to learn one programming language. Now if you only know one programming language then you are good. Don't spend your time picking up the best language should I use Python, Java, C++. Use any language that you are comfortable with. If you don't know any programming language then I will suggest you to start with a Python that is relatively easier to learn and you can start writing Python code within few weeks. All you need to do is focus on the basic programming fundamentals such as learning about loops, operators, variables, data types, functions, conditional statement and many more. So these are the building blocks of any programming language. You can learn them from YouTube or any website. I also have a course on Python for data engineering that is specially designed for data engineers. So this is just about learning programming language and the fundamentals. Second thing is you need to prepare for the entrance exam aka actual coding round. Now this is very easy but it will feel difficult at the start if you have never done this. It's like learning to ride a bicycle. You already know you have to push the pedal to move forward. You need to keep balance. You need to press brakes if you want to stop the bicycle. So you already know the different components of it. But when you actually try to ride the bicycle for the first time, you will fall. If you try second time, you will fall again. But you have to keep practicing and within few weeks, you will get better at it. The same principle applies on these coding rounds. At first, when you try to solve any problems, you won't even understand what this problem is all about. But as you practice more and more, you will start identifying few patterns. You might be able to write the code by yourself or maybe pass few test cases. And there will come a time where you will build so much confidence that you can solve any problem by yourself because you now understood how to keep balance, how to push pedals forward and when to press the brake. So what are the brakes and the pedals of programming language? They are called as data structures and algorithms. Now here's the thing, for data engineering rounds, you don't need to master the software engineering level DSA problems. All you need to do is focus on mastering the basic, understanding time complexity such as Pico notation, stacks and queues, arrays, linked lists, basic mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, exponential division, sorting algorithms, trees and graphs. Now as a data engineer you might not be tested on the trees or graph but having understanding of these concepts will keep you in the safe place. So at the end of the video I will give you the brief guide on how to prepare for these coding rounds and also give you the list of questions that you can start with. But for now let's focus on the second round that is one of the most important SQL structured query language. You will be heavily tested on SQL rounds than programming rounds. The reason is simple. 90% of the time you will spend is working with the database. So you should have the understanding of how to fetch data, insert that data, do transformation using SQL. The best part about the SQL rounds is they are relatively easier but little bit trickier. SQL has more than hundreds of keywords available. You can clear this interview just by learning 15 to 20 keywords. You don't need to master all of them. You just need to master the highly used SQL keywords. What are they? Select, where clause, order by, aggregation function, joins, union, group by.
case statement cte statement working with the date time if null felicis so just by learning this and how to use them at the proper place you can solve any sql problem in the world again let me tell you that you will be heavily tested on sql and programming language you might get one or two programming questions but you will definitely get minimum two to three sql questions so we understood about both of these rounds such as programming round and the sql rounds and what you need to focus on now let's talk about how to prepare for these rounds the first thing is you can go to any of these websites such as lead code or hacker rank or any any of the competitive programming website so this is what it looks like you can log into this website and you will see a lot of different problems available in front of you you will pick an easy problem you might not understand anything or you might understand it but don't know how to write the code and this is where most of the people give up they don't even try if you are in this stage then you don't have to give up all you need to do is take help from other people and try to understand how they are solving these problems. So what you can do, you can just copy the problem name and paste it on Google or YouTube and you will find a lot of different solutions with the clear explanation. Don't have the fixed mindset that you have to solve all of the problems by yourself. At first, if you are a beginner, then you need to understand how other people are solving these problems. So the first step here is to learn how to think programmatically and develop logic. You can learn about this by watching YouTube videos, reading discussions or reading any blog that is available on this problem it's not about the number of problems you solve it's about how well you understood the problem that you picked and solved it also don't copy and paste the code you might think that just by reading the code you understood about everything so i can skip this and go to the next problem that is not how things work to master the art of coding you need to write code by yourself so learning from other people and understanding an approach to solve a particular problem is different than just by reading a code and copy pasting it so maybe for the first five to ten problems you can just start by understanding how other people are thinking about it and solving these programming questions as you practice more and more and start understanding how to solve this problem you will gain more confidence and you might be able to write code by yourself and maybe pass few test cases again it is not going to happen in one day or one week you will have to keep practicing more and the more you practice the better you get just like any other skill cracking this interview is a skill that you need to master practice 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 if you spend daily two hours consistently on these problems within two to three months you will become the master of it the same approach applies for the sql problems also so if you don't know anything you can just start with the easy problems if you don't understand anything how to write sql queries then you can go online learn how other people are thinking about it and understand it and then use the knowledge that you have gained from these videos and try applying it by yourself the difficult part is not writing the code the difficult part is dealing with the failures lack of motivations and ups and downs that you will encounter throughout this journey believe me if you stay consistent it will get easier so if you are still watching this video then let me know in the comments by writing i will code consistently that way i will know that you watched this video from the start to end and you are serious about this so here's the sheet i was talking about i have divided the problems into multiple sections these are enough to get you started i will update more questions as i get them again this is just a first round that will get you started but there are more other rounds coming such as multiple technical rounds depending on the company behavioral round hr round so we will talk about all of those things in the future video so if you're interested in learning data engineering from me then i also have a bunch of courses on python sql you can just check the link in the description and you can get started i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video